How much do professional basketball players overseas get paid? Man, everybody wants to know. You know everybody asks that question and um, it defers, man. It's it defers to country to country, league to league, division to division, player to player. It really go it could really go from low as, I don't know, thousands per month, maybe hundreds per month, versus millions, right? So it's like it's no secret actually. It's um it's on articles and um, news outlets of the average income and income sources of players online. So, um, of course, it's something I could speak upon. But, you know, the average for Japanese, this is an average, right? It could go all, it could go higher, or it could be lower. But the average for Japanese players is around $155,000. Or so, 160,000. I'm not sure, but around that range. So, there are players who are making a million dollars, and there are players who are making thirty thousand uh, dollars a year. So, there's a very, very big difference on uh, how much players are getting paid. But to add, on average, players they're probably making up to 100 grand, all the way up to 500. The top one, the, those top players in the league, local players, um, are getting from 350 to um, all the way up until the elites could go up to 800k and those aren't including bonuses and incentives so if you add those in it could sum up to a quite amount a, a good amount of money um, and for imports usually I would say over 250k um, lower levels, it could go at least 100k. Um, there are players who are making a million. There are players who will be making millions after incentives and bonuses. And what's crazy about now is that a lot of the Americans are wanting to get Japanese citizenship, which allows them to play as a Japanese, um, which increases their demand which increases team positions to get more imports, right? Because they don't take up that American import slot, but they could play as a Japanese and they could add in a um, few more Americans, which gives them an advantage. So those kind of players, of course, their salary will increase drastically. And yes, yeah, so I'm sure the, 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 the price range would jump up all the way up until all the way up from 500K to a million. Um, I'm not sure, but that depends on the players. But still, you know, easy to say. It's a good amount of money. It's a good amount to live on. It's a good amount to um, put yourself in a, a great financial position, you know, early on the years and even in the post career, uh, depending on what you do with it. That's the biggest thing. I'm, you know, definitely continuing to learn on how to manage, how to invest, how to place my money in place and in. in uh, positions where it, I would um, want it to grow on itself, uh, allow my money to work myself and, you know, just slowly but surely continue to put myself in a better financial state than um, in just in case and whatever happens because professional basketball, professional athletes, we're, we're not able to do this until we're 65, 55, 45. It's rare. Um, no, but... It truly is a blessing to be able to be paid to do what we love, to do what I love and uh, provide for myself and my family and Nike. And I'm very, very thankful for this job and uh, to be able to do this. But, you know, I'm not done yet. You know, I want to continue to pursue um, to my maximum potential, you know, and I want to continue to work my ass off to achieve what's I still don't have in mind, especially this season, I've achieved something that I never thought about achieving and never thought about getting here. Um, playing basketball professionally is already something I never thought really would think to myself what I would be doing 
you know, 10 years back, but it was always a dream. And yeah, I want to continue to put myself at a higher standard than um, that I think I could achieve and that I am currently. So yeah, I hope that answers you guys' question. Yes, Japan is a very solid league, solid country, and the league is very, very well established. And that's what allows it to um, make it so attractive to people all around the world in a lot of places and uh, a lot of players from around the country want to come to Japan and play in Japan and that's why a lot of the Americans don't want to leave this country and want to retire here because you know situations like that the financial situations take a place a, a very big factor in that uh, decision uh, but it's a beautiful country too you know and great people and um, overall it's it's very easily adaptable and very easy to easily to live so i think that's what makes it so special and uh, makes it so nice to be able to do what we love in this beautiful country so yeah i hope that answers you guys questions sorry it got a little bit long but i want to finish my oikos yogurt and probably watch the last episode of the last dance so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment, email me, whatever it is. If you uh, if there's anything that you want to know about um, Japan, this league, uh, basketball overseas, I would love to answer your questions and your concerns. And uh, if there's anything I could do to add value to you, I would love to do that. And so please comment, like, uh, give me questions, whatever it is. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope to give you guys more new content and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys. Peace